The Twins trying to snap a four-game losing streak up against the Detroit Tigers. Mike Pelfrey, he's personally lost four straight decisions and is winless in three career starts in Detroit. But Pelfrey gets some help from Justin Morneau in the fourth. A two-run shot for Morneau off of Rick Porcello gives the Twins a 2-0 lead. Number 15 on the season for Morneau. And the Twins would add another run in the inning to take the early 3-0 advantage. So we go to the bottom of the inning and Prince Fielder answers right back with a solo shot. His 20th, that makes eight straight seasons with 20 or more home runs. And the Twins lead down to 3-1 on the bomb from Prince. In the top of the fifth, Phil Koch enters in relay for Porcello. Bases loaded situation, Morneau up. Rip to right center on the first pitch. A base hit. It'll score at least two. Hunter flags it down. They're going to hold Willingham at third. And Morneau jumps on the first pitch and drives a two-run double to right center. Morneau up to four ribbies on the day, and it's 5-1. In the sixth inning, Pedro Florimone, who has been quite cold in August with his first home run of the month, his eighth on the season, and the Twins ahead 6-1. Now 6-3, bottom eight, Tigers threatening with two on in scoring position. Jared Burton facing Andy Dirks. Dozier into the outfield grass. Thomas with a diving catch, and he comes home with the throw. A tremendous catch by Cleet Thomas, diving in short center field. Thomas had to go a long way to catch this ball, as played deep in the biggest part of the ballpark in center field. So Thomas, the former Tiger, with the huge catch there, and then in the bottom of the ninth inning, two on for Miguel Cabrera, the potential tying run up, but he strikes out, and the Twins win 6-3. to three. Glenn Perkins earns his 29th save as he protects Mike Pelfrey's fifth win of the season and his first since July 6th. Big night for Morneau, who collects a season-high four hits to go along with his four RBIs. The Twins end their four-game skid.